Hi everyone, it's Mari of MariPfeiffer.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a WordPress child theme. Now before we get started, if you don't know what a child theme is already, I wrote about that on my blog explaining what it is and why you need to work with one if you're going to be customizing a theme in WordPress. And basically what a child theme does is it helps you preserve all the hard work, all the design work that you've done uh, to customize a theme all that code so that when the original theme, the parent theme, is updated, when those files get overwritten by the new theme, your child theme remains intact. Okay, but for more details, just go to the blog and you'll find out all about that over there. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to create a child theme, you only need one file, and that's the style.css file. And don't worry, it's very easy to do, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So to complete this task, you'll need a few lines of code, a source code editor like Dreamweaver, Text Wrangler, Notepad. There are a bunch of really good ones out there, and many of them are free. So if you do a Google search for a source code editor, you should be able to find one that works for you. Uh, you'll need an FTP client to upload your new file to your themes folder, and then a WordPress parent theme to base your child theme on. So um, in this tutorial, I'll be using the 2011 theme. The 2011 theme is, as you can see, a beautiful, very simple, yet very elegant theme. Um, it comes with your Words, uh, WordPress install. I really like it. I think it's one of the best themes out there. Um, first, for people who are just getting acquainted with WordPress, but um, it's a great theme because it's very easy to customize. Um, the way you want it and um, still function the way it was originally meant to be and it functions very well it's a really really nice theme okay so to create a new child themes style.css file you'll need the following information the following code so we'll open with that forward slash and asterisk after which comes the first absolutely required uh, line which is the theme name and that's the name that you give your theme so in this case I've named mine 2011 baby the next two lines description and author are optional but I like to put those in because um, I create a, a few child themes every now and then and it's nice to have the description below the thumbnail in my WordPress themes folder uh, so that I can tell which one is which and finally, that template line, that is very, very important, and it's absolutely required because this is telling your style, uh, your style sheet where it's taking its function, uh, where the child theme is going to get its functionality from. And in this case, the parent is 2011. Now, you'll notice that it's all lower caps and it's all one word. Well, that's the way 2011 appears in my site's file directory. So if I looked at my, um, if I, when I upload the, the file to my FTP client, um, that's how the 2011 theme appears, its files appear in the site directory. So make sure that you, whenever you create a child theme, that the template name matches exactly, letter for letter, uppercase, lowercase, whatever, um, the, the way it appears on your site's file directories, okay? Then the next line is the asterisk and the forward slash. And that final line, at import URL, this is also very important. This is the style sheet from the parent theme. And it's not 100% required. If you want to design everything from scratch, but keep the functionality of the parent theme, then don't use this line. But honestly, I think it's a really good idea to import the parent themes style sheet because it's very easy to modify the whole theme that way. So I strongly recommend it. I'm kind of borderline absolutely required. But if you really get a design and you like to design things from scratch, then don't import it. Just, you know, go your own way. <laughs> all right. So um, we're going to take all of this code, copy it, um, open a source code editor. In my case, it'll be Dreamweaver and paste it into a file there. Okay, so now I'm in Dreamweaver, so I'm going to open a CSS document. And then I've already copied that code that I just showed you on my clipboard, and now I'm just simply going to paste it in here. 
and then I'm going to save this file as guess what style.css on my desktop it's just easiest to put it on the, de the desktop for now so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to go ahead and close out of Dreamweaver and next step is to upload this by FTP to my WordPress site okay so we're in my FTP client I use Cyberduck as I mentioned earlier and first thing we want to do is to go to the WP content folder open that and then go to themes and then we want to create a new folder where our child theme is going to reside so in this case this new child theme is called 2011 baby I'm going to create that okay and here I'm now going to double click on it and it's empty obviously I'm going to upload that style file that we just created so let's see where was it there it is okay and there it is it's appeared so I'll just show you that again I, re I named this child theme 2011 baby I already have another one called 2011 kid but here's a 2011 baby and inside is that style sheet so we're done so now uh, let's see disconnect whenever you're done using FTP disconnect right away and now we're ready to take a look at what we've done in WordPress okay so I've just logged into uh, WordPress and I scroll down the left side to appearance then clicked on themes and I've opened my themes folder basically my themes page so as you can see the current theme is the original 2011 so why don't we take a quick look at that I'm going to open that in a different window looks like that that's exactly how it looks pretty much out of the box so that's the original and then let's go down through the themes and we'll find that child theme that we just created 2011 baby by Mari that's the one okay so I'm gonna go ahead and activate that one make sure that we did everything right and there it is there's no difference between this child theme on the surface from its parent okay the banner image I've set on rotate so it's going to be different every time the page a new page is loaded but there's absolutely no difference right now and this is because the child theme has obviously inherited all the functions of the parent and since we also imported the parent style sheet it's going to look identical all right so we did it that's that's pretty much it that's all you have to do to create a child theme so when it comes to customizing your child theme scroll down below appearance below themes and all the way bottom of this section to editor and this is your new style sheet that's the one that we created earlier and this is where below that um, at import URL line you can add any CSS code that you want to modify um, your child theme and the great thing again as I've mentioned before is that when the original the parent theme is updated you won't lose any of the hard work that you put into designing your new site because it's in the child theme the functionality gets updated through the parent theme but the style remains the same because you've kept that all in a child theme okay so that's how you create a WordPress child theme I hope that this has been helpful to you and if you have any questions or comments or suggestions please let me know thanks for watching and I'll see you soon